Each one of those bumps is a hair follicle. Each one of them has a small, coarse, stiff hair. A cat doing some trumpeting. Tough guy. Cap is seriously being a goof. He's got the play on right now, and that's fine by us. So again, play is just uh, critical. It's a part of their lives. Of course, they're curious as well. Y'all don't know what he's what he's doing, what he's thinking. The tail slap there. They turned in their, their attention to the fact that humpback whales often show their tails. There you go, as if on cue. When they die. And they began taking pictures of the animal scales, much like the way you're trying to do today. That's why Erica from the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Society is with us. She's not here, obviously, to collect recycling for the whole trip. She's up here taking pictures. The Whale and Dolphin Conservation Society is an international organization. And that up there's a little bit of a tail reach dedicated to the furtherment of education, public education about whales, working in concert with both Whale Watch Boats and the fishing community. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But gathering data, data, it's amazing, even with the largest animals on Earth, how little we actually know. And by in identifying individuals, we stand to learn a lot. This body of data that's allowed us over time to uh, be able to identify some 2,000 humpback whales by their tails, which we may see right now. Nice. Still his tail. Now, some humpback whales have all dark tails, and some have all white tails, or in the case of Skell, it has a combination of black and white. But each whale's tail is unique to that individual, just like our fingerprints. And through photo identification based on these tails today, again, there's a couple thousand individuals in the North Atlantic Humpback Whale Catalog, and they all have names. In 1974, a female humpback whale was <clears throat> seen frequently out here. She's got a whitish dorsal fin, and she was the first whale to be named in the North Atlantic, and her name is Salt. She's joined out here by... Here, doing something, being goofy. A cast, so I was talking to some passengers on the way out. A cast day consists basically of three things. Oh, awesome. Eating, sleeping, and playing. Play is very important in the lives of young mammals. It's how they learn about their body's abilities and limitations. Whales are mammals, and they like to play. You can see right around and in front of the dorsal fins and down the animal's flank, there's sort of a grayish color. And so it's through that lighter breath, the lighter footprint we see there, that gray on the flanks and the enormous diaper.